I think social media has played a huge role in this um, outbreak, but both in a positive and a negative way. There's no question that social media penetration in China is very wide, all the way to rural areas. Everybody has a cell phone. So it could have been a very, very effective and useful media for public education. But I think that what we have seen is also um, there has been lots of rumors, lots of unverified facts and conspiracy theories that have been spread across the internet that has actually caused a lot of panic mm -hmm. and fear and sometimes unnecessarily. But I have to say that um, the widespread use of social media in China has also provided some checks and balance for mm. the government as well. So there are pros and cons to it. Um, my question is, is there a middle ground? How do you use it in a healthy and constructive way to educate people? Because the kind of fear and panic that you see in America now, in China, I think is, I can say, it's 10 times during that time. And you can see that <coughs> social effect immediately overnight people just buy up all the medicine, buy up all the mask which is actually not needed, and also food. Um, so um, I would say that the multiple roles it can play but it hasn't been um, used uh, in its best way.